Vetiver. As a developed country, we've relied too often and too much on rigid structures to stabilize areas that really could be organically stabilized using a, a plant such as vetiver. After all, we probably have a good idea what it costs to build a retaining wall with footings that penetrate six feet. This is a plant that has a value of one six mile steel and its roots penetrate 12 to 15 feet down to stabilize areas. The root penetrates vertically. There isn't lateral movement with this plant. At maturity, this plant will be two feet in diameter. If you'll imagine this row of vetiver with an equally dense web of roots interconnected that goes the entire length of this row. It's pretty impressive. And it tells you quite honestly that the soil's not going anywhere, which is exactly what we need in Hawaii. Using vetiver in hedges on the contour of slopes slows the water's velocity as it comes down that slope. This has been established here is about two and a half years old now. It gets absolutely zero care from us. Uh, as you can see, it's not irrigated. It's very resilient. You can actually cut it to hedge it to a low height. It also can burn and come back, I believe, from the uh, roots. So it's, it's quite a resilient plant. And we're really thrilled to, to have it in, as a tool to use in, in erosion control and water uh, management. More than 100 countries are using the vetiver system technology. So this is a plant that is labor intensive. You cannot buy vetiver seed. You plant it about uh, eight inches apart. Normally, it should. Uh, create a nice tight barrier. The caution would be if you plant it too close, there's a shading effect, then the plants will be very weak. So you want to plant it close enough, but not too close. So as far as we're concerned, I mean, as far as uh, trying to do its job, you can't find a better grass than vetiver. It doesn't require any maintenance. It's tough, it's resilient, and as you can see, it's uh, fairly drought resistance also. These are just a few of the many benefits of vetiver grass and the Vetiver system. For more information, please log on to vetiver.org.